Hello everyone, welcome back to Pirates Taurus channel. Today I will be sharing to you my voice meter setup when I'm using Razer Ripsaw as a game capture card. Although Razer Ripsaw has the 3.5mm audio in and audio out, but since I'm using the voice meter, I totally do not use this one. The reason is the 3.5mm audio output to earphone, I found the volume is rather very very low. So I would rather use my gaming headset plugged direct to my gaming PC using a USB port. And before I continue, this will be my sharing of my voice meter setup. If you are currently using the Razer Ripsaw game capture card, I would like you to watch this video. If you go through the Razer Rip source pack, the maximum support pass through resolution is only 2K 60 frames per second. And other supported res uh, resolution is also up to 60 frames per second. So you watched my previous video, I'm a, I will teach you how to not using the pass through technology but using the extend mode to capture your game video output from your gaming pc to the streaming pc then second head on to microsoft store search for ear trumpet so what is ear trumpet ear trumpet is a powerful volume control app for windows I know all the window is already have built in the app control here. Actually, when you open up, some people may find it quite confusing whether how to set up here and grouping. So the benefit of the ear trumpet, if I expand it, you can have a look. So once I expand the ear trumpet, you can see all the audio input on this panel. So what can this done is you can easily, you right click it and then you can regroup to any uh, audio input that you want based on your PC setting. And then one more benefit of ear trumpet is, let's say I play a song. If you're going to the default app control and the device preference pre-installed by window, you can see whether or not you set it correctly. So if you head to ear trumpet, if you see the movement here, meaning that we set it correctly to this uh, uh, audio input. So before you start, I would like you to open the sound setting, head on to control panel. So we pull up the mini window here, go into the playback tab. So I would like you to set the voice meter input as the audio, as a default device. Then head on to the recording tab. If you are using a um, USB microphone, then you can see your microphone name will be appear on the top list. So what, what I want you to do will be pick your microphone as a default device. So in my case, I'm using the Focusrite uh, audio interface whereby my Procaster mic connect to it. And then we can click OK and close this window and we do not need to come back to watch this uh, default add volume and device preference anymore. So let me close it down. So let me quickly go through what are these pillar and horizontal button looks like. The first five column here will be the hardware input whereby our physical audio input. So I will set my second column as my microphone. Then head on to these three columns, number six, seven, and eight will be our virtual input. So on the top right will be the hardware output. So let's say you can pick the A1 will be your desktop speaker and B2 will be your gaming headset. But please remind that this selection only will be appear if you are using USB headset. If you're using the 3.5 jack, it will be appear as a speaker output, maybe somewhere here. Then you need to take note on that. So what is audio bus? Audio bus is a signal path combined one or some of audio path together into one output. So let's continue to my setup. So I set the A2 as my microphone input. 
and then the VLIO will be our uh, master output of A1 because I purchased additional virtual cable, virtual audio cable A and B. So you can see I have additional selection here. So whereby this selection, I put it as uh, my desktop Spotify. Whatever song that I play in Spotify in my gaming PC, I will only route it to my A2, which is my gaming headset. I will not connect to my B1 so that I will enjoy my own song while the game is running. So my audio will not hear what song that I'm listening. If you want your viewer to listen what are you listening, you can toggle B1. It means that the Spotify here will be join the B1 as the master input. So now going back to my streaming PC. So we need to do the same thing, install the ear trumpet. So if we uh, collapse that, you will see the last one. Let's say the voice meter input will be our main selection. So what you do, the same thing will be open the sound setting. Go to control panel. We pop up the same window. Look at the playback here and we set the voice meter input as a default device. Going to the recording tab. Remember that my microphone will attach to my gaming PC. So we do not need to put any microphone here, even though it could be detect the Razer Lipsaur as an input and Razer Lipsaur have the 3.5 mm audio in. I do not use that. So we set the voice meter output as a default device. Then we close it and we no longer need to look at the app volume and device preference in streaming PC anymore. So open up my voice meter. This is how it um, looks like. So what you see here is the microphone input for my gaming PC whereby I connect via V-Band. And I also set my Spotify as additional audio input in this hardware input column 3, A3. So on the Top right on the hardware output, I set my A1 as a speaker. Unless I want to toggle, the audio will be routing to the A1. I will untoggle all the A1 here and I only toggle A3. A3 will be sending to the bus 3. So what you can picture here will be the hardware input will be coming from here. And then this will be the bus A1 to A5, B1 to B3. This one will be the main output, uh, master section, bus A1 and A5 control here. So now looks at the VBAND setup for my gaming and my streaming PC. So let me open up my gaming PC. So in the gaming PC, few things are very important that you need to feel it correctly. First one will be the stream name. In VBAND, you will saw incoming stream. Incoming stream meaning that uh, all those audio can be direct from my streaming PC to my gaming PC. So here I set my alerts to my ear. Let's say while I'm gaming, I can hear any follower, subscribe, a notification through OBS back to my ear. And it also works as an audio back from uh, Spotify audio back from my streaming PC to my gaming PC so that I can listen to music. And then look at the bottom here, you have outgoing stream. Outgoing stream meaning that in this case will be from my gaming PC to the streaming PC. So the incoming stream from gaming PC will be the outgoing stream from the streaming PC. Whereby the outgoing stream from the gaming PC will be the incoming stream in my uh, streaming PC. So first thing first, one with le left click the source here, you will saw the bus A1 to A5, B1 to B3. It actually represent the setting here, the master section A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, and B1, B2, B3. Looks at what will be in my B1. So the first B1 will be the my desktop voice meter VAIO, meaning that all my gaming audio will be played through here. So when I toggle on B1, meaning that all the audio going to the VAIO, voice meter VAIO input, will be sent to the bus B1, which is this area. Because this is the master audio for my desktop, that's why I put it as MG desktop. Whereby the B2 will be my microphone here, A1 to A5, B1 to B5, I only toggle my microphone, B2. So here I put as a mic. 
Next, what you need to check out will be the IP address Zen2. So here Zen2 will be represent the streaming PC IP address. So each IP address is unique. So then how you identify your own PC IP address, look at this IP area here. 192.168.0.166 will be IP address for my gaming PC. And then we're going back to my streaming PC. 192.168.0.110 will be my streaming PC. So you need to type your streaming PC IP address here. So the system will identify and send this outgoing stream to this IP address for this name. So how you connect the VBAN or you receive the audio from the gaming PC, we need to type the same stream name, MG Desktop and mic. The IP address will be received from. So we need to type our gaming PC IP address in these two columns. So after we receive the audio, we need to determine the destination in the voice meter on the streaming uh, PC. So the destination here, one to five, will be represented by hardware input one and five, and virtual input. Another one will be virtual one to three will be the virtual input one to three. I can play around with the audio and control the audio. I set my destination one will be this one. So I say because uh, I have it named for the MG desktop, let's say I can so the name. So here will be my microphone. I can copy the same name. So on this uh, audio interface, whether or not you type the correct name is not that important. What important here will be the streaming name, IP address. It need to be same for both PC. So after you set it correctly, you, you will saw the green light here, meaning that both PC are connected. And then you remember, you need to toggle it on and off to make sure it works. So for network quality, you can play around with either optimal, fast. It doesn't really too much matter. Unless you saw the error here, blinking red colors, then you, you can start to play with it, whether you want to uh, put a fast or medium. So on my streaming PC, I have the bus A3 alert plus music sent to my gaming PC. So let's look at what, what do I have for bus A3. So now we look at the inputs here. I have the VAIO inputs will be my desktop master input. Meaning that all the game audio, if I play on uh, laptop or if I open the Google Chrome on my laptop, so all the audio will be sent to VAIO whereby we set here as a master section. Remember, you need to match here. Because I purchased the additional VV audio cable A, and then I group my voice meter under VV audio cable A. So when every time I play Spotify in this desktop, let's say I play now. So let's say now I play a Spotify. You can check out the stream bit origins, the copyright copyright free music when I play it you can see the audio movement in particular Spotify laptop here how do you know we set it correctly again going back to expand the ear trumpet you can see the audio movement here whereby you don't find any Spotify in any other cables or audio input so because I set a toggle A3 which is my bus A3 together with my master section, master audio on my streaming PC, then via bus A3, where I put the stream name to my gaming PC. Now we get back to our gaming PC, whereby I receive stream name alert from the IP address of 0 0.110, whereby I assign it to the destination number three, which is my hardware input number three. So let's say to make it easy to identify, let me, I should, I should put it alert plus Spotify laptop. So what did it do will be 
whatever plays, whatever I control the Spotify on my streaming PC, it was sent via bus A1 and assigned back to the hardware input A3. Then we're going back to the Streamlet OBS. We open up the audio. So what do I have here? I have two uh, mic or auxiliary device one or with the BAIO. And then I have the mic or zeroly device tool for as a microphone. So how do you find this? We're going back to the open sound setting. We open up the audio. We open up the sound control panel. So this if we, this will be my voice meter output. Close that. So let's say now I'm playing uh, a dummy follower. So the dummy follow here, I have a specifically a alert bar where you can do it with the OBS. So when I just span it and then we go back to my gaming PC, you can see the alert sound is actually the same hardware input with my Spotify laptop. So I span it so you can see the audio was sent back from the streaming PC to my gaming PC whereby. So how do I pick up the audio was sent back to me? Remember? I set my A2 as my gaming headset, Logitech G G663. So I toggle this A2 on that I can hear it from my headset. Then going to Discord. So how are you gonna set the Discord microphone? So you first you either can set it on the streaming PC, so whereby nobody can see whether you're playing around with the Discord, or in my case, I set it to my gaming PC. Why I want to do that because having a microphone routing to gaming PC to streaming PC, let's say you have for Discord installed in your streaming PC, you may experience a little bit of a voice delay. I do recommend you install the Discord in your gaming PC where either you can put a default or you need to pick your own microphone here. The reason I can put it as a default because we're going back to our sound setting. I put my Focusrite audio interface as the main default device. If I put that, it means that on my Discord, I can put it on default. If it's not, then you can straight away pick your own microphone. For output device, you do not need to do anything. Voice meter input will be the master section, the output. So whatever our friend talking, it will send back to us and then we're going back to the stream so everyone can hear what we're talking about. So that's all for my video today. If you learned something, please give me a like and then do leave your comment if something is not clear to you and if you have questions, feel free to drop in the comment. So if you think this video will help you, please share it to your friend. And if you're still unsure how these settings work, you can message me or join my Discord. I will put in the link description and you can message me anytime. I will get back to you as soon as possible. So if you are a gamer and you're looking for friends to play with, then you can join my Twitch. Then you can add me at the Steam as a friend. Or so maybe one day we can play a game together. Yep. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.